Shut up and sit down. So, you're in Kashmir, okay? You you win the second division. You go up to the first season, and then it's the, I mean that's when people start really noticing Real Kashmir. You know, there's a live telecast for the I League, um, mm. and uh, you know people watch the games and everything. And people start asking themselves, you know, Real Kashmir, what the fuck are they playing at? How do they play football? I'm going to read you some tweets. Right? <coughs> yeah. I managed to to get throughout um, okay. throughout the years. All right, um, we have we have a tweet here from from Aravind from Kolkata. He says, "I work part time as a rickshaw driver, and evening I sell onion badges and kufis. But I'm sure I could make Real Kashmir play better football." Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Yeah. Junaid from Kerala, he says, watching Real Kashmir is like sharing, is like uh, uh, staring death in the eye, only death is less painful. That's another one, all right? Mm -hmm. Another one, Mohit from Mumbai says, Real Kashmir reminds me of Peak Stoke City. The punting down the field is top class. And then another one from Jishnu, he, he just says bench one. I don't know why that tweet got in there, but, but anyway. I know, I know, I know I, I, believe it or not, there's, there's, um, there's not much um, Indian or Indian languages words that I understand, but that word you just said, I understand. I know what that means. <laughs> yeah, so do I, so do I. Just, I just had to put that tweet in there. Anyways, you yeah, know, yeah. What, what do you have to say to these armchair experts? discussing the way that Real Kashmir played. Okay, well, here, here's, here's my take on how it all started. When I was in Phoenix, I played a different style of football. When I was in Scotland, I played a different style of football. Okay, so I can adapt to anything. And the uneducated armchair fans don't understand that we've actually changed as time has gone on, slowly. Okay, now, here's my, here's my philosophy going into League Two. Um, if you remember how short League Two is, yes. Okay, League Two, we had six, we had sorry, um, ten league games. Okay, I was advised by someone very, very close to me, the you know, on the coaching staff, um, who spent a lot of time in India. The important thing is in I League Two is do not lose. Okay, so. I had a style, bearing in mind I had the lowest budget. I went to Kolkata, I had tryouts. I Abash Tapa, I spotted him, Rick Vic Das, all these guys are you know now in the in the ISL. So we went there, and my first thing was we need to make sure that we defend, we do not concede goals. So we went the first ten games unbeaten. We the big teams in those days were I think it was um, Delhi United and Hindustan. Then it was Lone Star um, and a couple of Pune City and um, I think it was Mohammedan. another ISL. Mohammedan, no, no, Mohammedan, there was, Mohammedan. No, there was, no, there was another. But anyway, in our league, so we had those ones. And basically, I realised that I can't lose to I can't lose any game home or away to Delhi United or Hindustan. So anyway, we eventually get to the the last game in the playoffs against Hindustan. And guess what? Hindustan had not lost a game. We had not lost a game. We beat them on the day. So the style worked based on the fact that the type of player I had. And then we go into League Two, or sorry, League One. My biggest fear, and I know how difficult it was to win the league, was that, again, we have to make sure we can't lose. We had, a, again, in the first year, we had a very low budget, um, you know, compared to many, many teams. And I, and I mean, you, you'd be shocked. So... I, I adopted the same idea, same type of player, because I knew that a new team, a new club, going into a big league, if you were to lose a game, maybe the opening game, say you play Mohan Bagan, you lose 6 nothing. It's very, very difficult to recover from that. And again, it's a, it's a short season. It's only, what, 20 games. Um, and, it, and if you get in a lot, it's difficult. So I think the first year is how, how we did it. We did it the same way, you know, and, you know, there was obviously one or two things out with my control that I couldn't help that, you know, curtailed any possibility of winning the league. Um, but we finished third with a great season. Um, I think we only lost two or three games. And we were the only team, I think, Chennai, Chennai City who won the league 
playing fantastic football. I've got to admit, they played mm-hmm. fantastic football. When they won the league, mm-hmm. we're the only team that beat them twice. And our budget was a lot less than what they were. Um, what, was so was, what was your budget? What was your budget? What was your budget? I I I wouldn't discuss that. No, but it, it, it <laughs> was a lot. It was a lot. It's a lot less. Um, this past season, a lot of people don't understand that. At times, we don't play from the back, based on the fact that you go to shitty pitches like the one in Punjab, and um, you get teams that press you to death. We get the ball forward, but in certain areas of the pitch, we get the ball down and play. Um, and next season, we're going to change a little bit again. You know, there'll be different types of players coming in. My first aim was to establish ourselves in the league, make us, a, a, you know, a team that's not going to be scared for their lives. I mean, you look how tight the league was this year before the, the lockdown, was that from second to 10th, anybody could get finished second and anybody could have finished getting relegated. Um, so that's how tight the league is. So there's no margin for error. But again, there's also teams I watch that are not as successful as us that try and play the correct way with players that can't do it. Um, and if you look at most of the gate, the goals that are conceded, whether they conceded mistakes at the back based on trying to play from the back. Um, and I think you've got to every, you know, there's a lot of YouTube coaches out there um, and people involved in football clubs that will go on YouTube, oh, this is how Manchester City plays, so oh, let's play, this is how it plays. So so really, all, all you're doing is you're, you're painting pretty pictures to look good. At the end of the day, right, what is the object of the game? Getting the ball in the opponent's box to try and score. You can have as many hundred passes. If you look at statistics when we've played, you know, we come from a, uh, a place where we train and, and play in Kashmir, it's it's cold virtually all the time. So you then go to Kerala. I, I remember when we played Chennai City, um, the first game in the first league, first time in the in the, the I League. Um, mm. It was boiling hot, and that's when I adopted a, a, a situation where let them have the ball, let them have the ball because they'll pass. Basically, they must have had about eighty percent possession. But 70% of it was in their own half. And what that did was it allowed us to get our legs back, get our shape back. And a lot of the times the teams you play against aren't good enough to break you down and they end up giving you the ball. Um, so that was just how we played. Things will change a bit this season. Um, but we still will be, a, I always feel, in a league. I'm used to leagues where there's 36, 40 games where there's margin for error. In this league, there's no margin for error. And I know how difficult it is if you were to get relegated, mm-hmm. it's almost impossible. Look at Mohammed mm-hmm. in Sporting. Mm-hmm. How long? How long have they tried to, you know, get up? It's virtually impossible. And I know that if we were to get relegated, it'd be impossible to get back up, or very, very difficult to get back up. So listen, what we did before, I, you know, I just read you some tweets about that. But-